What's going on guys? What are we doing today, Dean? Today we're making a skid plate because uh, his car scrapes everywhere. I'm just uh, putting on a skid plate. Um, it just scrapes way too much and I don't want to have to raise my engine or anything so I'm just going to make a skid plate and it's just going to fold up in the front just so it doesn't get caught on anything. Some of you guys are asking what coilovers I'm on. Um, I'm on like these knockoff Godspeeds. Um, they're actually pretty good. A uh, whole lot better build quality and ride quality than uh, Rokors and Racelands. Um, I'll go ahead and put the uh, link in the description to them. Um, they're really, they're just a no-name knockoff, but uh, they're actually quite good. And I uh, recommend them to uh, all Miata people on a budget. So, uh, just finished bending it. Um, probably a little bit less than a 45 degree angle. Um, it's not real even. It doesn't really matter, it's going to be under my car. Um, you know, as long as it protects my oil pan. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, what I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be drilling holes in my um, in my subframe and then putting these uh, rivet screw things in there so I can just uh, screw my um, my uh, skid plate right into the uh, subframe and then uh, if I ever have to replace the bolts or the um, skid plate it'll be pretty easy. All right, so. Um, I uh, marked and drilled all the holes that I'm going to need um, to bolt this up to my subframe. And then I made an extra hole up here in the front. Um, and that's going to be, I'm going to attach a uh, chain to my sway bar or somewhere on the car. Um, just so for when the uh, bolts that are holding the skid plate up, when they scrape off, keep in mind when. Um, because eventually they will. I don't want this plate to just be flying off on the highway and endanger other people. Um, so I'm just going to attach it to the car somehow uh, so that uh, for when they uh, scrape off all the way um, that it, it still gets held in. Um, obviously I'll be keeping an eye on it, you know, replace the bolts eventually. Um, but that's just for, you know, if it happens and, you know, I'm not paying attention or whatever. Um, but, yeah, just to keep other people safe. And then the reason I'm attaching it to my sway bar is it's really the only uh, stiff point that is available to uh, attach it to somehow with a chain or something um, without wrecking anything uh, for when it does um, fall off or whatever. So... So now we're just going to go ahead and uh, put the uh, plate up against the subframe, mark up uh, the subframe for our holes, uh, and then we're going to put the rivet nuts or whatever they're called in there, and then we'll be able to go ahead and mount up the uh, skid plate. I may have to raise the car a bit just because this is adding about a, you know, an eighth or a fourth of an inch. Uh, what are you doing, Dean? I'm drilling through the, what is the subframe? Yeah. The so we can attach the skid plate. Oh, nice. Looks pretty good. Kinda sucks. <laughs> <laughs> These are the rivet nuts I'm talking about. You actually, uh, you're able to, you drill the hole, you put these in there, and you use a rivet gun. Uh, and then uh, it gets held in there, and then you can screw the bolt into it. So um, that's how it's held up into my subframe. So yesterday we finished drilling the holes and uh, riveting those uh, rivet nuts into the subframe and we went ahead and uh, bolted it all up. Um, it looks real good. It's a little low. Makes it, you know, I mean including the bolts, um, I mean it, it, it's about a fourth of an inch lower now so I had to uh, lift it up a tiny bit. Um, I understand that the bolts are going to be scraped off eventually, but this is just the best way that I could see uh, mounting it. Um, there's no way you can put a bolt all the way through. Um, and then I wasn't willing to weld it or anything, um, just because I've got to be able to uh, get to the uh, oil pan somehow to change the oil eventually. Um, but overall, pretty happy with the way it turned out. Looks good. Um, 
and it'll save my oil pan hopefully go ahead and drop this and see how low it is at its current height now that it's dropped um, it's about a fourth inch off the ground um, same with the skid plate but for me I mean I just didn't want to be dragging constantly I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now it's pretty even with the back um, the back is absolutely maxed out there's no way I can go any lower without extending the top hats or something like that so that's about it uh, I'll probably do another video of uh, driving in it um, we'll see thanks for watching if you're about that JDM Brad Brad Doge VTech life make sure to subscribe and hit the like button